the enemy is at the door. We got a lot of stuff that's going on, and even though it's not technically a recession, we have a lot of economic indicators that are saying that we're heading that way. And we will see further out as we get in a year. But let's go ahead and have this conversation. The enemy is at the door. And what are you going to do about it? Because recessionary pricing, you have people out there with good credit, money to put down, decent jobs, and they cannot afford to buy a house in this economy, which is a very strange economy. It's a very strange economy because you have people who want to buy houses, but cannot buy houses because of the inflated prices of houses. We had this discussion. There is no real estate crash where people want to live. You may see housing prices correct and go down in places that people don't want to live, but where people actually want to live, we're not seeing a lot of crash pricing. We're just not. And this is the thing. I was reading, I was watching a video where a guy who was in the trucking business said that the load boards were down 77%. That's huge. That's huge. Let me explain to you what I believe happened. Go back to 2020. Go back to the pandemic. We had such a rush of inflated income that it just boosted all of these industries. Everyone had money, people were spending money, people were renting Airbnbs, people were renting cars on Toro, people were getting in trucking, and we had this massive, massive wave of artificial inflation. And now that the economy is rolling back to normal levels, I would say below normal levels because with this inflated economy, we had a lot of people stimulate the economy, really, really stimulate the economy. And this created a lot of pricing pressure that once the stimulus money disappeared, the PPP loans, the EIDL loans, the um, enhanced unemployment, the um, extra check that people got, once all that disappeared, and we started rolling back to a normal economy, which is abnormal, which is somewhat abnormal. We started to see a lot of things that are starting to shake out in the economy. One of the biggest issues is people are not prepared. Uh, I did a video about trucking and shout out to all the truckers and the people who contribute to the video. There's a lot of pricing pressure, uh, a lot of downward pricing pressure. And because of this pricing pressure, there was a business that I was gonna start, that I was gonna get into, that I decided not to get into, which based upon the things I've seen was one of my better decisions. And one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things that you have to look at is what are you gonna do in this economy? What are you going to do? And I, I have a question. What are you going to do in this economy? Are you going to start a business? Or are you going to start a quote unquote side hustle? Or what, what, what are you going to do? Because here's the thing. We're in this state, right, of the economies being strange. But I'm going to tell you a story that's outlined on this YouTube channel, which literally would take you some time to find because it's like 14 years back. But in 2009, we were in the recession. And what did I do? I started a business. I started working, I started building, I started creating. And within three years, that building, that business was a seven figure business. So question, and please put this in the comments. What are you going to do with this new economy because here's the thing a recession means that people are pulling back people are not spending as much money it doesn't mean that the economy stopped 
that's the thing. The economy has not stopped and there's opportunity and there is all types of bandwidth for the people who want to actually get in the economy, do something, build something and create something. So I ask you this question, what are you going to do? Because once again, uh, inflation, I don't think, you know, inflation is a persistent enemy. Inflation weakens your dollar. Inflation weakens your spending. Inflation weakens a lot of things. So once again, please put this in the comments. What are you going to do to deal with this new extraordinary economic animal? Because inflation, recession, we have all of these bad words that are being used to describe this economy. But what are you going to do to put yourself in a position where you can win? Now, I'm going to tell you some of the things I'm doing. Like, you know, you guys know that I revamped the channels, pissed off a lot of people, revamped the training. And what's going to happen in this new economy for me, because right now, I'm at the beginning stages of the revamp. The revamp really started March 15th. So we had April 15th and then we would have May 15th, which would be two months, which it really isn't a lot of time. So I'm revamping, I'm restarting everything. I'm redoing the courses. I'm literally restarting everything. And one of the things that happens with a restart which I'm very familiar with, is the beginning is rough. The beginning is kind of terrible. The beginning is a serious situation where you have to pull out your pig-headed determination and stick to the plan and keep working and keep doing things. If you do not do that, once again, I'm revamping and uh, I was doing a lot of lives last month. I don't think I've done any lives this this year but I think I may do one later on today because we have so many things that are happening we have so many things that are going on we have so many things that we're building we have so many things that we're creating that for the people who choose to revamp for the people who choose to dig in for the people who choose to build for the people who choose to create we're going to open up some big big doors for people to be successful, even though we're having a recession, a recession, even though we're having inflation, even though we're in this situation where we have to double down and really work in, on ourselves and work on our businesses and work on the things that we need to do so that we can be very, very proficient in the future as we build out our systems, as we build out our enterprises as we build out our empires because here's the thing there's going to be someone that's going to start a business right now and literally they're going to lay the seeds for the for an empire that's going to be 10 years in the future but they're going to start that right now and i once again i ask you this question what are you doing to prepare yourself for this economic demon that we currently are facing this, this economic challenge that we're in the midst of. What are you going to do? Because that's the question you gotta ask yourself. Because I have the saying, when I wake up in the morning, I was like, who's got my money in their pocket? How do I get my money out of my How do I get my money out of their pocket? Because you, you must have an expectation of positive things. You must have an expectation that the world is going to bend to your situation because one of the things that i consistently see is a lot of people are looking for the easy the simple the creative way for them to win in this economy when that's not the answer there is no you know like once again all of the talk about chat gpt and artificial intelligence let me say this Will there be people who are making a lot of money from artificial intelligence? Absolutely. Will it be the average person? I saw a video the other day that had me chuckle. And the video was talking about that you can go to Google News, find a news article, copy it, 
run it through ChatGPT, run it through this other website, rewrite the article, and sell this article to these websites that are buying articles for one to two dollars per word. Now, it is nowhere near that easy as simple. Typically, the websites that buy articles have a qualification criteria. They want the articles to be arranged a certain way. There, there's a lot more to it than you just simply go to Google, find a free article, copy it, and then submit it and make you know three and four and five thousand dollars a week. It, it's just simply not going to happen. And I have an understanding of why so many people honestly feel that it is that easy and simple to make a large amount of money doing these things and the reason is these people god bless their souls they're not stupid they're not dumb they're unseasoned they don't know how the world works and this takes me back to who i used to be many many years ago when i was completely unseasoned didn't understand how the world worked, didn't understand a lot of things, didn't understand so many things. I, I just didn't understand them because I didn't know any better. I was operating from the blind spot. So many of these people are operating from the blind spot. They don't know the literary qualifications to submitting an article to a website. They just think that they can just copy, paste and email this article and they're going to get a big fat check. And I understand that many people are unaware. Many people are totally clueless to the things that need to happen for you to make money. And this is why I asked the question, what are you going to do to prepare for this economic crisis that is coming our way? Trucking, Amazon, Walmart, Target, all of these economic giants are laying off their stock building. So we're getting plenty and plenty of signals of what's coming in the future. But go ahead, let me know what you are going to do to prepare to prevent this thing happening to you. And also, what are you going to do to ensure that you never have to deal with this again? Because when you build a business, and this is what we're talking about, you build a business and you do a, a creative business or you set your business up to a certain way, you actually position yourself to be the appropriate person to actually work on building your business. And essentially, you will remove yourself from the people who get slapped upside the head by inflation. Is inflation going to disappear? Absolutely not. Inflation is not going to disappear. Inflation is going to keep coming. Inflation is going to keep deteriorating the money that you pay for your rent. Inflation is going to keep deteriorating the amount of money that you like right now. The average new car payment for a Corolla is $716 per month. Or I would think the average, I don't think for a Corolla, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if the car payment for a Corolla was $550. And I have a question for you, and I want you to really, really think about it before you answer it. What are you going to do? And please put this in the comments. What are you going to do to position yourself and your family where you never have to worry about inflation? Now, once again, this doesn't mean that inflation isn't going to happen. Um, like inflation has been happening. Gas has been going up. You know what I do when I go to the gas pump? I put my credit card in the gas pump, fill up my car and keep moving because inflation is real. Uh, I will say when I was looking at a piece of real estate, I was touched by inflation and I chose to say, you know what? We're going to do the same thing that we did for the Porsche. Whenever I see something I want, I ask myself, what do I have to do to get it? And the same thing with the Porsche, instead of just going out and financing it, and it's like, okay, this is what we got to do, G. We got to make our business better. We got to make more money so we can get over that hump because um, the bidding for that condo was pretty fierce. It was pretty fierce because it was a beautiful condo. It was really, really laid out. And I was like, next time, I'm going to be more than ready. 
Now, could I have gone in and got the condo and spent the money? Absolutely. But that would have left me feeling some kind of way. And I don't like doing things to do things like that way. I like to be above and beyond and on top of the situation. So, like, when I ask you, what are you going to do? I'm being serious because this is the epicenter. And once again, I know this is going to sound strange, but this is the best time to build your business right now. This is the best time. Now, I will say getting employees is not an easy thing because employment is at an all time record low, which means that getting good people to work for your business is going to be hard. And I got a solution for that that's coming up in a few months. But question, what are we doing? What are we working on? Prepare, prepare ourselves so that we can go to the top of the mountain so we can be having Hawaii vacations. What, what is, what's the thing that's happening? What are the things that we're doing? What are the things that we're building? What are the things that we're working on? Because um, I am zooted. Zooted. I am zooted. <laughs> I am zooted because um, I'm getting ready to finish the productivity course that will be finished by this weekend. And then we begin to get in, dig into some more stuff and we begin to work on some more stuff and we begin to create more things. So one of the things that you have to do and have to understand is that we're in a point where normal, regular inflation is not going to be a real and substantial thing for the people who present themselves as corporate citizens for the people who do the things that they need to do to build out their families, their economic situation and their financial situations. So like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see the comments. I'm really looking forward to the plans that these people, you people have, because essentially I'm feeling it's like 2009. It is that moment in time. I remember in 2009, I knew we were in a recession. I knew the housing was going on, unemployment went up. And I sat down and said, I'm going to start a successful business 2009. And that's exactly what I did. And it's about having the proper mindset. It's about approaching this thing the right way. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's so much opportunity out there for people who are prepared, for people who want to do things, for people who want to actually prepare themselves to win in this race, to position themselves where they can be on top of the mountain, where they can be living that life, where they can be eating steak, drinking fancy tequila, going to Hawaii, going to Bali, going to Burma, going to Thailand. I mean, it's, 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 it's here. But, the, the, but, but let me tell you a secret. The difference is between you, the person that you are right now, and the person that you will become in the future. See, that's the difference, because uh, this is one of the things I talk about. Being who you are right now is enough for you to be isn't enough for you to be successful. Who you are right now. And this is once again, these people, God bless their souls who are watching this video that they can literally go to Google, copy an article and then rewrite it using AI technology and they just sell it to these hapless, clueless websites. They're just gonna buy these articles. They're gonna buy these articles because they need content. No, it ain't that simple. It ain't that simple. And I know this from a position of being a writer. I know this from a position that I had friends who were extraordinary writers who had to keep jobs because their writing didn't make enough money for them to live. So once again, I'm not a hater. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to point any fingers, but I will say that people have to become financially seasoned to understand what is going on. Take bricks. If bricks happens, notice I said the word if it's going to be 10, 15 years in the future. It's not happening anytime soon. The dollar is going to be fine. I would say at a minimum for the next 15 years, next 15 years, I am 56. So I would be 66, I would be 71 years old when this thing starts to happen, <laughs> you know? And during these 15 years, what are you doing to build out your thing? What are you doing to set up your, your enterprise? What are you doing to build out some racks? 
What are you doing to position yourself to do well in the future? Because here's the thing. I know we are receiving a lot of stuff, bad economic indicators, but once again, there's the opportunity for you to win. There's the opportunity for you to build. There's the opportunity for you to do the things that you need to do to actually win on the corporate level. There's so many things that you can do. And like I said, I'm excited. I'm really thrilled because we have a lot of things that are getting ready to happen. We have a lot of things that we're working on. We have a lot of things that we're building. And I want you to be part of this success train. I want you to be part of this um, opportunity because one of the things that you have to understand is success is wrapped up in hard work. Opportunity is wrapped up in a lot of bad decisions. And to be successful, you gotta go through that process. You gotta go through that process. So I'm over here cheering for you because I want you to win. And this is one of the things, like I said, uh, I'm doing some new training, I'm revamping everything. I'm very, very excited because things are going much better than anticipated. And the revamp of the channels, because I thought it was gonna take six months Uh, The end of this month, well, essentially on my second channel, on this channel, I'm actually got 100 subscribers this month. And that number was like negative 900 a few months ago. So we're working our way back. We're building and we're setting up some stuff. And I've got some great, extraordinary training that I'm getting ready to present and to put out for you guys that is going to be on another level. Because, you know, I've been doing training since 2014. So that's. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. And I want to say thank you to the people who bought my training, bought my courses. You see, the courses were not bad, but they were somewhat incomplete because I would have some people who would kill it. Then I would have some people who would struggle. And I figured out what that struggle part was and that struggle part I'm getting ready to eliminate and to build out these courses in a manner where they will be faster, easier to address you to get that information so you can begin working on your success so we got a lot of stuff that's going on and uh, I'm getting ready to change the videos to early morning because I've been popping them off about three four o'clock so they're gonna start getting earlier and earlier you're gonna see multiple videos you can see a lot of content because I need to go ahead and get myself back on that path so once again um, go ahead and get the money course, which is below. Go ahead and get the, the the productivity course, which this weekend the price is going up. And then we're going to be rolling out some other stuff. It may even be before this weekend because I'm zooted. I'm, I'm excited. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on. So these links are below. <clears throat> and there's going to be some um, other amazing and fascinating things coming your way. So be on the lookout for it. Stay tuned. Be ready because we're getting ready to cook. We're getting ready to build. We're getting ready to move to the next level. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you in the next video.